Hey, TJ, big win for you tonight. That's like your 13th submission win in your career overall. How was it to finally land that triangle and get him the, well, not to tap out, but the technical submission? Uh, it, w it was good. You know, I, uh, I expect him to be strong in the first, and uh, um, he was a powerful wrestler, good control. Um, uh, wrestled with him uh, and, and uh, tired him out a little bit for the second, and uh, it was great to display some some more jujitsu, you know, and, and finish it for the fans. And uh, I, I hate going the distance, so uh, I want to I want to show the jujitsu, put the jujitsu back on the map. You know, that's what that's where you that's what founded UFC, and so I want to bring it back. You know, combative jujitsu, uh, um, and so it was it was awesome to show that in the cage tonight. At uh, what point did you know he was out at all, or were you just going with the flow and you weren't quite certain at all? No, you know, um, that was my first um, putting a guy out. You know, I, I never tried to break anything or, or put him out. Um, but uh, I heard him gurgling, uh, and uh, I thought he was just trying to breathe. You know, he, he was holding it, and I was squeezing up with all I had and uh, soft him up with some elbows and put that arm across, and he started gurgling. And... Uh, and I wasn't sure, but it was a great call by Herb, Herb Dean. So uh, it, was, it was a good call. I'm glad he, he noticed it because I didn't. Do you feel like coming into this fight, you had an advantage being at, you fought at 170 more often than so? And he, this, for him, this was his debut at 170. Do you feel that that gave you any kind of advantage in this fight? Uh, yeah, yeah, I think there was an advantage there. But uh, he also had an advantage because he was a bigger guy. Uh, uh, it, was a new, it was new to him, though. So yeah, uh, I think there was kind of a little give and take there. Uh, he, he put on a good show. Like I said, he was strong. Um, I think once he gets that cut down, he's going to be a force. So, um, uh, yeah, he, 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 and he was a force. Uh, so it was, it was good, to, good to beat that. And uh, I definitely think I uh, progressed and moved up the ranks uh, beating him. So. What's it feel yeah. like to have someone fall asleep like that in your lap? Man, you feel you, you know, you kind of feel bad. You know, you don't, you don't, you're out there to win, but you're not trying to. Uh, you're not trying to, um, I say you're not trying to hurt nobody, but you are out there to hurt somebody, but you know what I mean? You're not, you're not trying to embarrass anyone. Uh, you know, I, um, so I just, I just took my time. You know, one thing that I hate that people do is uh, they'll, they'll pass them out, or they'll, they'll pass out, you know, and then they run off. So the guy is out and, you know, you know he can't move. So you just, just take your time. So that was one thing I did do is, is kind of lay there and just let him or let the ref. Uh, kind of pull them off me, so I wasn't gonna jerk my leg out and and uh, rip it out, you know, and move them and just throw them off of me. So, uh, kind of felt bad. But how long, how long do you think he was actually out for? Went out long, you know. Once I once I let go of the of the of, uh, the, the triangle, uh, you know, blood blood started going back, and, and he was fine in about 15, 15 20 seconds. So um, he came to, you know, you come to a little woozy, but he was fine about fifteen twenty. So. You sound like you had a lot of friends and family in the crowd, a lot of supporters, definitely. Is definitely. that the case? Definitely, yeah. We had a, a huge crew coming out here. Uh, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll all be out at um, Club Hayes. So if anybody wants to come out for uh, the after party, we're, we're going to be there. It's going to be a huge party. So, uh, you know, I've got a lot of friends, uh, family, relatives that came down with me and anybody else who wants to tag along. So it'll be, it'll be a fun time. You a big drinker? No, I'm a social drinker. You know, I'll hang out. You know, and I might have like a shot and be and be buzzed because, you know, I'm I'm strict with my diet and uh, and everything. Uh, I drink here and there, but you know, just just to hang out and just you know socialize. So uh, I'll be out there. We'll be hanging out and having a good time. How else you plan on celebrating? Eat. I'm gonna eat so much food. I'm breaking records for Christmas. I already uh, talked to my mom, who is a, a fantastic cook, and uh, she's, she's got some pies lined up, pumpkin pie, pecan pie. Like I said, I'm breaking records. I didn't get to enjoy my Thanksgiving fully, so Christmas, it's going down. What's on the <laughs> wish list this year from Santa? Uh, man, uh, I'm not picky. You know, uh, uh, got the wind, so. you know, the zombie apocalypse is coming up, so maybe a gun. I don't know. <laughs> you know, if there is a zombie apocalypse store in Las Vegas you can visit. They have full safety packs with food and water. Nice. Hey, we might check that out, you know. What's your first plan of attack when the zombies do take over? Uh, uh, well, I could always, uh, you know, dress up as a zombie and try to fool them. They're not that smart. Yeah. I would have the cardio. <laughs> Outrun them. You, mean you gotta know that cardio is first rule, right? Avoid the bathrooms. 
If you ever watch Zombieland, you know, just watch that movie. It'll tell you everything. The double tap. <laughs> double tap, exactly. <laughs> if you could put together a, a zombie killing squad of MMA fighters, who else would you want on your team? Oh, man, uh, it would be the Texas guys. You know, we're all, we, I, I'm sure if you're from Texas, you at least own four guns. So uh, probably all Texas guy, you know, Hendricks, uh, Belfort, um, uh, uh, Colton Smith, you know. So some of these guys that are here tonight, they probably would, hopefully we'd team up and, and go take care of business. Just so you know, you don't have to wait till the zombie apocalypse to shoot zombies. You can do that right there at the gun store in Las Vegas. Okay, all right. Yeah, we'll have to check it out. Yeah, we'll be here a couple of days. You know, we're not going to head out uh, on su tomorrow, so uh, we're going to go see some sites, check out maybe Hoover Dam and Grand Canyon, see some things. So, it, you know, that might be on my list. Check it out. <laughs> cool. Well, congratulations. Thanks. Thank you all. Congratulations. Nice to meet you.